China, China, China. Once again, Chinese ship throws Tanzanians into shark-infested waters. A Chinese captain of a cargo vessel and his crew is said to have thrown two Tanzanian stowaways into the Indian Ocean in South Africa over fears of contracting the novel coronavirus from the Africans. As you all know what happened in China recently, where the virus came from originally, at least that is what we know, aside some rumors, speculations about America, Europe, Europeans, Americans are Europeans anyway. I'm talking about the ones there, not the indigenous um, Americans, the aborigines. It is said that this virus came from them. They created the virus together in conjunction with some group of people. And they are using this to decimate the population in China and also to weaken China. As they've come to realize that China is taking over as the world power. And China have said this countless times. They said it officially. It's not a rumor. And America has also said the same. We don't know what it is. What we know, as a matter of fact, is that the virus has spread around the whole world. It has killed people, killed people all over the world. It is everywhere. It doesn't matter if you are, your, your weather condition at the moment is hot, summer. It doesn't matter if you have a colder weather condition, winter, spring, whatever. The virus is just everywhere. And um, I don't see this virus, I'm not a doomsday sayer. I don't see this virus going away anytime so soon as there are indications of people getting indications of the, how this virus is spreading it's terrible just look at the numbers of people infested infected died in the united kingdom united states spain and many other countries china is not even giving up giving out numbers so a lot of africans it doesn't matter if you are if you if you are from the United States, UK, as long as you have a brown skin, somehow they came up with this idea. They said there is a province, there is a province called Guangzhou in China. And they said some Africans were tested, the same Africans that got the virus from Chinese. They didn't come there to get virus. Many of them came to study, some came to, to work. And they got the virus from you. And they said they tested one of them and then they said, oh, they have the virus. And all of a sudden, the story went viral saying Africans are now infecting them with the virus, that they do not have the virus. What a sham. What a lie. Such a huge fallacy. Of course, Nigerian government stood up for this and called them up and said, we are not fools. Look at this and that. And they quickly went around acting like humanitarian, you know, bringing food, acting like charitable people. Now, with this, with this, this Chinese people decided to throw these Africans, these Tanzanians, into shark-infested waters. The duo called Azadi Rajabu, 30 years old, and Amiri Salamu, 20 years old, were rescued offshore on the KwaZulu Natal North Coast. They were given two bottles of drinking waters, um, drinking water and a light jacket to swim to safety after they were tossed off the vessel near the mouth of the Tugela River, where ama eggs, tiger eggs, and bull sharks are known to hunt. This is terrible. This is terrible. Now, I also brought you guys a story of a Chinese national in Ghana being asked to go into the drainage to pick up, you no, know, I think dustbins and some other stuffs. Probably he was walking, he was walking and he threw the things down. And he said, Look, man, you folks are not treating us nice in your country and you've brought lies on us. And now you are working on the streets. And you have the other city to throw this in the gutter, in the drainage. Man, you must go down there. And he took a video of this and a picture of this. And this went viral. And I brought you guys a story. And so, this Chinese, imagine these 
two young men, 30 and 20, thrown into the sea where hammerheads, tiger, bull, sharks, sharks are known to hunt. Africa has so far confirmed 27,385 confirmed cases of the coronavirus, which was first discovered in Chinese city of Wuhan with 1,297 deaths and 8,172 8, recoveries. Director of Operations of IPPS Medical Rescue, Paul Herbst, told the Times Live that the men were rescued three days after their chilling ordeal on the Panama registered cargo vessel. Herbst said they were severely assaulted before being tossed into the sea after the vessel left the Dorbert Harbor. The South African Maritime Safety Agency contacted the vessel MV Top Grace by radio. Immediately, it received news of the Tanzanian stowaways and confiscated the 60-foot 60 60 long ship when it docked further north up the coast. The captain and his six-member crew were, 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 were arrest, then arrested. The captain and his crew, Lin Xiong, Lin Xing Yong, Zhao Yong Xian, Tan Xian Xing, Xi Wenbin, Shu Kun, and Mu Yong pleaded guilty to charges of attempted murder at Durban Magistrate Court. This is the right thing. Recently, I also saw a video of um, some Chinese nationals um, somewhere in an Africa. They came to one African country with their coronavirus. They came in there and they were asked to be isolated. They weren't treated and told to stay on the streets. They were kept somewhere and asked to be isolated as it is the official standard somewhere in Congo. And they were supposed to stay in there for the 14 days, the official World Health Organization 14 days. But lo and behold, do you know what they did? After about 9 to 10 days, they packed their bags on their way to another African country, Cameroon. Such a, a, a ter terrible characteristics. They packed their bags on their way to Cameroon. Who knows? Are they trying to infect people? Are they trying to drop something there? They left Congo on their way to Cameroon. They said they are looking for work. What work? They are looking for work. What is going on here? If you are from any of this region or you are a Chinese, can you please tell us what it is? What work are they looking for? It's terrible. So the captain wrongly was... Wrongly, that's his name, fined $5,361 and each of the crew men $2,680 in a plea bargain agreement ratified by the magistrate Garth Davis. The accused became wary of the men and asked them to wear face masks in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. The men refused to wear the face mask. This is coming weeks after concerns of Chinese officials evicting hundreds of African residents, like I said before, and businessmen from hotels and apartments as they are being accused of having the novel coronavirus. Even though virus came all the way from China and they said this virus has three entry points. One, HIV. Two, the malaria parasite. Three, the coronavirus. And these three virus and bacteria are exactly the symptoms of a coronavirus patient. It's terrible. China denied the claim saying we do not have discrimination in China against African brothers. China and Africa are good friends. No, they are not good friends. They are only parasites. They are only interested in the raw materials, natural resources in Africa. That is the friendship. Nothing more. There is no, nothing more. It's all about the economy, making sure that they dip their hands into the nook and cranny of Africa's, uh, Africans' um, resources. Now, Africans say they are just being targeted under the guise of a testing campaign for the global pandemic, also known as COVID-19. Some of them allege that they've been placed under forced quarantine without being told about the results of their test. They gave them food and water and put them in the, into a separate room. In fact, it is said that they are asking them to stay 
More than 14 days times 2. You know what that is? 28 days. Why? Because they might want to test vaccine. If you are in China, if you are in Asia, if you are friends and brothers and sisters, even if you have your enemies there, call them up. Tell them not to accept any medication, anything from these people. They are evil. Even if you are in Europe, anywhere you are, do not accept any of this. We are in a trying time. Trust nobody. I saw a lot of actions from the 